So YouTube apparently leaked Rockstar's next game, and it's not Grand Theft Auto 6. It's in fact L.A. Noir Part 2. But rest assured, this is actually fake, and today I'm going to tell you why. So this just happened a few hours ago, and uh, lots of media outlets are picking up on this, and you're seeing a lot of YouTube videos possibly about this topic. But unfortunately, it is not real. As cool of a game as L.A. Noir was, and as cool of a part two to L.A. Noir as that would be, that's unfortunately not going to happen. So uh, if I entertain you with this video and you learn something new from it and we just stop the spread of this fake information, hopefully I can earn your thumbs up and your subscription. So what happened here and how did this start? Well, it's actually all over Reddit and you can also Google this and it's going to be popping up with a lot of articles. What Culture Gaming even made a video dedicated to this topic. So uh, earlier on today, someone discovered a YouTube channel by the name of LA Noir Part 2. And what this channel appears to be is a topic channel. So if you don't know what topic channels are, these are channels automatically generated by YouTube. And the purpose of these channels are basically to collect trending and popular videos by topic and put them all in one area and promote that through the YouTube algorithm. That's kind of what goes on there. And from the outside looking in, that's what this channel is. It even has topic in the channel name, which is consistent with how auto-generated channels look on YouTube. So as I mentioned, this was actually discovered just a few hours ago earlier on today. And the channel since this discovery has actually been deleted and because of that we only have one screenshot of the description of one of the uploads on this channel but you can check all my sources in the description there are tons of discussion topics and threads on reddit from multiple users who've seen this so i would say probably over 50 people have seen this and reported this so it was real now because this channel was swiftly deleted from youtube after it started to gain a little bit of traction earlier on today it could imply that this is real right which is why the channel got removed because if it was fake then take two rockstar games or youtube wouldn't have removed that right well yes and no we're gonna break that down a little bit later on in the video so there were two uploads on this channel the first one was on march 14th 2020 it got just a few days ago it only had 40 views three likes zero dislikes and this upload was of a song called break my stride by Matthew Wilder. Now this song came out in 1983 and apparently from users who saw this video earlier on today before it was removed, there was an announcement from a DJ for KTI Radio before this song started in the video. Now if you've never played LA Noir, KTI Radio is a radio station from that game. So that's kind of interesting because obviously that coincides with the channel name LA Noir Part two now as for the video background and what was going on there apparently all the background was was this artwork from rockstar games new website that they added in just a few weeks ago they added in two new images uh, this was actually one of those and it was kind of the center of a lot of speculation and conspiracy regarding an announcement coming soon so that was the background of this video that like i said unfortunately we don't have any screenshot proof of but we do have multiple users who can confirm and report this now the description is also a bit interesting like i said before that's the only screenshot we have regarding this and it says provided to you to youtube by take two interactive break my stride matthew wilder the music of la noir part 2 2020 warner chapel music released on 2020 3 13 auto generated by youtube and then we can just see also at the bottom some information regarding the song, the artist, and license to YouTube by, and all of the different labels. So that seems kind of official, right? Wouldn't you say that, hey, th this could be real? This is an auto-generated channel by YouTube, and uh, possibly it was an accident. Which would explain why the channel has since been removed since it started getting popular because it was an accident. People weren't supposed to know because it wasn't supposed to happen. Now, there was also a second upload reported. There's no screenshot proof of this, but it was the theme from a show from 1981 called The Hill Street Blues. And all it was was just a re-upload of the theme 
from this, like I said, 1981 show. And the description of the show is basically it gave you a gritty look at the life of cops in a large, unnamed metropolitan city. So being that both of these uploads have to do with 1981 in 1983, it led a lot of people to speculate, okay, this has got to be real. It's an auto-generated channel by YouTube and, well, the 1980s. So would L.A. Noir Part 2 take place in the 80s? Well, with that Hill Street Blues theme, that's pretty interesting being that, being that that show is dedicated solely to the life of police officers. In L.A. Noir Part 1, or the original L.A. Noir, we play as a police officer. But if you think about it, as cool as playing as an 80s cop would be, because there are tons of movies in the 80s based on cops, uh, whether it be Lethal Weapon, Starsky and Hutch, which came out in the late 70s, Beverly Hills Cop, Matlock, can't forget that one. There were tons of, like, cop-themed shows and movies in the 80s. That would be cool, but with the term L.A. Noir, the noir theme doesn't really fit the 80s. So, anyways, let's talk about whether or not this is real or fake. So, we've got two options here. The first one is, okay, this is real. And the reasons for that would be, the channel was quickly taken down. If it was fake, nobody would bother to take it down. Based on the description, what would have happened is that Take-Two gave YouTube a copy of this game's soundtrack to copyright the music. The YouTube algorithm automatically generated this channel based on that soundtrack. This is normal and this happens, but it was an accident. It wasn't supposed to create a channel based on this topic right here that leaked a bit early which caused youtube to term terminate the channel that's a logical kind of approach to this but that's not real because this is 100 percent fake and i'm going to tell you why this is fake and why you don't need to believe any speculation as cool as la noir part two would be and we've got three reasons so the first one is based on reddit discussion which like i said you can find linked in the description so being that many users saw this channel many reported that it did not have an about tab and every tab on this channel page was hidden except for the uploads so if we actually take a look at every single topic channel automatically generated by youtube you will see that they all have one thing in common and that is an about tab and if you go to the about section all that's listed there is a link that says that this channel was auto generated by youtube and using the craig connor topic channel here we can actually see that and this is a legit auto generated youtube topic channel but, like I said, from users who saw this channel, this channel did not have that about section, which would mean that this is fake because every channel that is auto-generated by YouTube has this. So somebody created this channel, it didn't have the about tab, or they hid it to where you couldn't see that. Secondly, an Italian user reported that the channel on his mobile device, which is in Italian, before it was deleted, didn't translate the word topic in the channel name. So this channel name is LA Noir Part 2 Topic. So topic actually translates based on your language. And he said that that didn't. And he also provided proof with the Craig Connor Topic channel, where topic in the, in the YouTube channel name was actually translated into Italian. So that's the second kind of red flag right there when it comes to this channel. And the third is really with the soundtrack as a whole, um, generally, Rockstar doesn't upload music that they didn't produce to soundtracks. It's usually their own custom-made music that they had made for the specific game. So, right, why, why would Rockstar upload the theme from a TV show? That just doesn't seem very plausible right there. And also, with the soundtrack coming out, we would probably speculate that whatever game this is, Ellie Noir Part 2, would be finished. So why would the soundtrack leak or whatever, or they have that all ready to go before the game is even announced? Because if the game was announced now, it would still probably be a year away at, at the very minimum. So lots of red flags when it comes to that, but... To be fair and to be 100% honest with you, I believe that this is 100% fake just simply based on the fact that this is a fake auto-generated channel from YouTube. And my kind of theory with all of this is that because people are so excited for GTA 6 and we really want that GTA 6 announcement, well, 
Uh, somebody decided to troll and throw something else in the mix to kind of make people think, wait, what the heck's going on here? And this was a clever move, but unfortunately, because it's not real, we were able to break this down. And by, by just throwing in that fake, hey, we got a different game that's not GTA 6, that's going to make people think, you know, what, what the heck is going on here? What, you know, and it, it's going to cause a lot of confusion because everybody right now is only focused on Grand Theft Auto 6. So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. Sorry to be the bearer of bad bad news once again, but I would rather be the bearer of bad news than be responsible for spreading some fake information. But if for whatever reason this does turn out to be real, that would be awesome. L.A. Noir, great game. I would love to see a Max Payne 4, even though it's pretty much wrapped up the whole Max Payne series and that's probably never going to happen. But uh, L.A. Noir Part 2 would be cool. But for now, that's just going to be a figment of our imagination. If you enjoyed the video and I helped clear this up, hopefully I can earn your thumbs up. Uh, 2,000 likes would be awesome. And your subscription as well. We're on the road to 650,000 subscribers. I, I hope one day we can get to a million. But with that said, thank you all for tuning in. I love you all. I'm Zach Cox, and I hope to see you in the next video.